spend the majority of your of your day with that's going to be like your immediate family or your roommates or the people that you share an office space with the, or or whatever it is you might be where you go and you spend eight to ten hours every single day with those are the people you're going to be the most connected to and you're going to have some friends outside of that that aren't as close but they'll they'll still be pretty close but you might not see them as often but i still think those are the people that like you could call a year from now and they would pick up um, right where you left off. But mm-hmm. then there's also people that come into your life. Um, I might go on a little bit of a tangent here. Mm-hmm. Like, like I believe everybody that you meet is temporary in your life. At, at, and, the, and just some people are more temporary than others. So there's going to be people that are going to be lifelong, almost lifelong in your life that will always be there for you. Then there's going to mm-hmm. be people that you briefly m- met in passing, but maybe they taught you a lesson. Like I remember, um, a teacher in junior high like shared with me a lesson and it sticks with me i can't remember that teacher's name i don't really remember what class it was and i don't really remember like much other than that and he probably doesn't remember me but there's this brief moment in time where he made an impact and and there's going to be people all sorts of in between there is like people that you're you're, you're friends with because you can think about it, there's like maybe like a really close friend you had like 10 15 years ago and like you spent all this time with, he's really great. And then you go like meet up with him for a coffee and like reconnect. And in about an hour, you kind of covered everything. You're like, huh, I guess, I guess that's kind of it. So when you realize like that people come into your life for a, for a moment, some moments longer than others, they serve a purpose um, and, and they're there for you to, to, you know, impact your life, positive or negative, hopefully mostly positive. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, when I'm talking about networking and having a powerful network, they're not always people that you would consider like your five best friends. Like mm. these are people that could be uh, key influencers, key advocates, or connected to other people. So if if you knew somebody like myself, and you said, "Hey, I I we don't stay in contact every day. Maybe a year or two passes." You say, "Hey, I really wanted to get um, plugged into." something that you knew I knew something about and had a network of people that were in that in that space you might say I'm going to send you an email I'm going to say hey it's great to hear from you no problem let me connect you to two people that I really think you should know to meet and so it's like you're going to get an introduction so that's why I think networking is is really important to have this broad network is is you're going to develop these connections of people you can reach out to that connect you to other people now when you're networking with people a lot of times you say you meet 10 people today. Well, mm-hmm. of those 10 people, maybe one or two will have this, um, a skill set that, that connects you to more and more people. A lot of people will just be great. Some people will be passing, but some people are going to be like really, really important and have an impact in your life. And some of those people might only have a brief impact and some people might have like a, a longer impact. So when you say over time, do you want to keep building this because you're only going to have five friends? Well, the answer I would say is no, because you don't know who those people are that mm. are going to be that impactful person. So you want to meet as many people as you can to kind of a- expand your, your knowledge of meeting these people. And then these people are going to come and go and you never know where you're going to have. So, and it's not also just about meeting people. So you meet people. What I find a lot of value is, is when I meet somebody and they have a need for something and I know somebody else that has a solution for them and I'm able to connect those two and those people are able to, to, to find success because they've been connected. And that's where I find the most fulfillment isn't so much that I know people and people are doing stuff for me. Mm-hmm. I like to do stuff for other people. And the best way to do it is to connect two other people to each other that they can do something together. And then they're like real thankful for that, that interaction.